This is the standard Tony Cart hub. Now in the middle of summer, we find great success on our tracks and in conditions with the shorter hub when it gets hot and sticky. But if you are struggling for a bit of traction and you've got these guys on, you're gonna get head back to your standard hubs or go to the slightly longer one. Welcome back to the Power Public YouTube channel. Today's video is brought to you by one of our Patreon supporters all the way from Seattle in the USA. So thank you very much. It's a bit of a collaboration because here in Australia, we're actually currently experiencing high summer. The temperatures have gone through the roof and when we're at the track, the go-karts are just not going quite like they were a few months ago when the weather was fine, sunny and warm. So now you might be asking what could we do to, to, to make changes to the cart to keep the performance still going excellent even though the conditions are terrible. And a huge shout out to all our supporters, Facebook, Instagram, and especially the guys on Patreon as well. We really appreciate the support and helps us here make great content for you guys at home. Okay, so we are in the middle of high summer like I said earlier in the video, which means we've got increased solar radiation. Now what that means is that track temperature is really gonna soar to its highest point in the year and now makes the rubber very sticky, very tacky, and it even goes a little bit greasy and you need to be able to control your tire temperatures. Now the way you can do that is uh, a few fold and one of them is being a smoother driver. So in the winter and when it's cold and when it's wet, you can really get aggressive on your steering and your braking. The carts can slide around a lot and what that does is it generates heat. Now obviously it's very hot now, so we don't need any excessive heat. We need to mitigate as much heat out of our tires as possible. So the first thing we can do as a driver is drive a little bit more smoothly on the steering inputs and also on the brake and throttle applications by braking, smoothing the braking zones, rolling through the first part of the corner to the apex and then picking up that throttle and really accelerating on the exit of the corners. The second thing we can do is start tuning our chassis for these hotter conditions. One of the things that we can do is change our axle grades. This is a type Q, which is generally what we're gonna use in the winter or if the cart's jacking too much on the way into a corner and it's not holding the wheel up. So this is one grade softer than the standard. Otherwise, we're gonna maybe throw in a hard axle. But it all depends on the type of cart that you've got and also to the tires that you're using. When it comes to axles, you can't always do what everyone else is doing. You really gotta experiment for yourself because the type of style that you have, the tires that you use, and also to the track surface conditions. Now, in summer here, we're driving around here in Southeast Queensland and the tracks are all pretty grippy and the axle we use at one track, we might not use at another. So get yourself a soft, a medium, and a hard, depending on which cart brand you have. It's all gonna be quite relative for your specific car and axle. And it doesn't even matter if you've got a Rotax, X30, K100, it's gonna be relative to you. So what the other guys are doing to their carts for their styles is it's not gonna be specifically for you. So if you do know what you want, you can go out and execute those things. The next thing we can address is the rim choice. So from the Tony Kart group comes the MXC, the MXQ and the MXL wheel sets. Now these are great in these hot sticky conditions with the Q and the L having the lower volume magnesium and this is great for not getting too much tire pressure build up in these hot conditions. These here are some Tony Kart magnesium hubs. This is the standard Tony Kart hub. Now in the middle of summer, we find great success on our tracks and in conditions with the shorter hub when it gets hot and sticky. But if you are struggling for a bit of traction and you've got these guys on, you're gonna get head back to your standard hubs or go to the slightly longer ones. This happens in the afternoons where the track gets super greasy and you may need to get some more traction off the corner. And if you do have your short hub on, you might find the rear of the cart sliding too much. So obviously all these little changes that we're making is to free the cart off the corner because that's generally what most drivers complain of as the temperature goes up. The cart's just sticking, or there's no power, or it's slow down the straight, and chances are the problems stem from the corners. So you're either understeering too much, you're getting too much push, or on the exit of the corner, the cart's just not releasing off the corners properly, or it's doing it differently than what it's done previously. So you just haven't tuned the cart for the conditions. It's not easy, you do have to be, um, well versed in driving so if you're only new some of these things are not going to apply to you just yet but if you've got the experience and you can really cut those consistent lap times these little chassis tuning tools and tricks are going to help you keep your performance up even in these hot sticky conditions so for those of you that are new to karting 
The spark plugs come in different heat ranges with 8 being the hottest, 9 being in the middle, and 10 being the coolest. So with these elevated ambient temperatures and the tracks getting so hot and sticky, the spark plug temperature range can help keep those engine temperatures down. Now if you're traditionally running a number 9 spark plug, get yourself a 10 and stick that in anywhere from 10 a.m. onwards when the tracks are really hot and sticky. Now if it does cool off, like you get a subtly change or it starts raining, you might drop back to your 9 spark plug. Also too, if you're normally running a 9 and it does start to rain, make sure you've got an 8 in the toolbox because you can slap that in. It's going to run a little bit hotter, especially when you're off throttle and because it's wet, the engine isn't loaded as much. So that's why we generally use those number 8 spark plugs in the wet, the number 9 most of the year. And then in summer, we grab those number 10 spark plugs, which is the coolest of the spark plugs that we're using in go-kart racing and that helps keep our temperatures down as well. The last thing we're gonna talk about is oil and oil consumption. Now your two-stroke engine runs on two-stroke oil, obviously. Now if you do put in a little extra, like five to 10 mils extra, the oil sticks to the cylinder wall and actually does the heat transfer th from the piston through the ring and to the wall, to the water jacket, and gets rid of the, air, um, gets rid of the temperature that way, whether it's an air-cooled engine or a water-cooled engine. So if you can use a little bit extra oil in the mix and you don't actually see a decrease in your engine performance. So say you had 40 milliliters of oil per liter of fuel, you could bump that up to 50 or 60 mils per liter of fuel and that would actually help uh, with the heat transfer and getting the engine's temperature down slightly. As long as there's no negative impact on your RPMs and kilometers per hour. Also worth a mention is keeping a nice fresh chain and sprocket on your engine so everything's spinning free, free, freely with heaps of chain lube just to keep the friction at its absolute minimum. So I hope you found this video helpful and if you did, smash that like button, follow us on Instagram and Facebook for a bit more power public tuning tips and we'll see you in the next video.